Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome to this old family read. This is a daily read. Uh, today, being Friday, we're going to do a weekend read um, for the 29th, uh, 30th, um, 31st of October. Happy Halloween, I guess. <laughs> Forgot about that one. Um, Day of the Dead is celebrated here in Mexico pretty hard. So, um, you know. I have Saturn in the fifth house. I just realized too, like I, I take almost no uh, joy or uh, really don't much participate in almost any uh, holidays, uh, celebrations. Uh, myself uh, feel so detached from a lot of the world. <laughs> uh, uh, but it's the last weekend of October, and that's a big deal if you're not in Mexico. Um, and if it's the first time you join me since I've been in the new casa. I'm really loving it, and the vibes here are just so good. Uh, it's kind of just peaceful, quiet neighborhood of Cancun, which is a, a bustling uh, city. Um, and um, it's, I don't know how it works. There's a Central Park here, basically, Central Park of Cancun. <laughs> kind of like a, I think, Central Park of uh, New York City. Uh, that's the analogy's there. Um, it's quite uh, something. There's 150 foot tall uh, tropical trees. Um, if parrots just went by before I fired up. Um, so far, I'm uh, just digging the energy here. So what I wanted to do for the weekend for the Soul Family is uh, um, check up from Spirit. Uh, what does Spirit have to tell us uh, this weekend uh, to help us in whatever way? Um, I think uh, what I want to do is the four card read, uh, but I want to do this read from the perspective as if uh, your guides uh, were directly speaking to you through the reading, which is kind of the way it always is. But so the first card, which is where we're at, um, what I want that to indicate now is uh, where do our guides see us as being at? Where do our guides see us as being at? Number two card, which is typically the blocking. What do our guides feel is the biggest block mostly needs to be paid attention to? Got, uh, spirit, I'll take more than one block. We got, there's no hurry. Come think of it. So, uh, what things do the spirit have to say about us in the number one position, about where we're at, um, and what things the spirit have to say uh, about what is blocking? And for the greatest good, that's all we pray. I ask in the name of light and love to serve the greatest good. That's all. We also pray for guidance, uh, protection, and strength. Give me guidance. Give me protection. Give me strength. Okay. And then the advice. I say it's advice from spirit normally. Well, this is advice from your guide. The one that you want to, however you see it, you know. It's like um, my grandma angel, for me, you know, is who I most directly uh, speak to out loud and um, trust, you know, to handle uh, everything. <laughs> we put it that way. So whoever that might be for you, could be Jesus, could be Muhammad, could be, you know, your angels. Maybe you're a Zoroastrianist. Zoroastrianist? Who knows? But that's what the cards can do. Let's get a talk. And then the outcome, well, this is the outcome that our guide wants to convey to us. So, the guided reading today on the bottom of the deck, which I do count here in this reading, uh, we have for the overall energy, the Queen of Pentacles. So I count this very strongly as part of the reading. Um, already, this is the guides now. Um, I'm not surprised. Uh, I feel um, I, I feel right now a little bit like hugged, like warm kind of energy. I kind of want to cry uh, because I feel like Grandma, uh, my guides just kind of like hugged me and said, "I mean, you're really doing pretty good, Queen of Pentacles. It's not male, not female." could read divine feminine energy, receptive energy, uh, strength, uh, self-worth, knowing self-worth, absolutely. You know, uh, the Queen of Pentacles, um, 
whenever anyone comes before the Queen of Pentacles, she's never thinking about, oh my gosh, I hope they like me. I hope I'm good enough for them. I hope they hire me. Uh, I hope they think I'm sexy. No, she's always thinking just, what can you do for my kingdom? You know, because she takes care of the kingdom. And I always think of the kingdom, whether you're king or queen. That's our self in astrology. As an astrologer, that's the sun. That's our kingdom. Now, hangman energy. Now, this is what our guides want to convey to us. And boy, this is like, just hit me like, both barrels, boom, boom, boom. Um... If, if I'm not in hanged man energy, and I pulled that in reverse too, so I'll go ahead and take it in reverse then. Um, changes it significantly when I look at it in reverse uh, because I feel like I've been in hanged man energy forever, <laughs> you know. Um, and I feel so ready to break through and I, I don't think it's exactly coming today or tomorrow or this week or even next week but it's coming and the fact that this is reversed I think our guides are trying to tell us it's like you're about done with this hanged man energy you know because it's coming in in reversed here um, and it, it's kind of the same theme I've been banging. This is a weekend read. So it's, I'd like to count this a little bigger. Um, um, but try to do something special for the weekend. So I really want to concentrate on really... It, it, it could be that our guides don't necessarily have anything. You know, they, it's not like they need to be... Oh my God, don't go out and drive on the Thursday or you're going to die. Um, it's really not like that. Um, uh, our guides are here guiding our soul's work, you know, and they're, they're not as concerned about David and, you know, what David uh, has for breakfast and this and that exactly. Um, they're looking at the big picture and a soul alignment. Um, and you, I think you see a lot in astrology through the outer planets, particularly in the progressed energies, you know. Um, and this is a winding up long cycles, starting new cycles. It's telling us that we're close, but it's telling me, I'm going to be honest with you, it, it's going to be a minute more. It's going to be a minute more. And I think like if you stop and think about it, that probably you're kind of going, yeah, yeah, I need a minute more. I probably need a minute more. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, this is our spiritual self, our soul. Um, the energy's coming in. It's been so strong. Physically, I'm just like, I keep getting up and slapped down and up and slapped down. And it's like, I'm going to keep getting up. And I'm, I'm doing everything I can, believe me. I got a lot of help. Um, so we're coming in with judgment. And this is what our guides want to convey. Now, this is in the blocking position. Guys, this is so clear to me right now. Uh, because this is being called up by spirit, you know, by your higher self, by your, this is that thing that gets you, that bugs you, that you sort of know you should do, but you don't ever feel kind of good enough for, or up to, or that, it just seems kind of like, you're just, that's not you. Like, for me, I would go with being, you know, really studying Zen, you know, and become, trying to become like a Zen master. Uh, is all, and I've always been so drawn to that, but I've always felt like, holy, and now I got Mercury on the IC, and it's square uh, Pluto, you know, it's in Sag, you know, it, it's conjunct Mars, okay, um, good luck telling my mind to shut the fuck up for a minute, it's like, it's immune, um, I can't take a nap, I can only sleep at night, riddle me that, it's unless I'm ill, which I've actually slept lately, Look at the good sign. Um, but this is Major Arcana. Both of these, you know, it shows we're in the forces. We're in the throes here. Thank God we're the Queen of Pentacles is the overall energy. 
because we're, we're really in, this is again the throes of metamorphosis, the hangman reverse, we're starting to come out of it, we're going to crack that chrysalis any minute now, but now we're being called up here, it's like we didn't come to play, you know, we came to do something, and this is whatever that is, imagine that trumpet call, you know, sounding, you know, um, and you feel something inside, you know, I got to do this. A lot of times it's something that seems impossible, challenging, maybe morally challenging. Now, this is our advice from spirit. Wow. Just kind of really look at that card, guys. You know, I know anything about tarot or what Nine of Wands means, but, you know, wands are actions. And nine, think nine years. I'm thinking here, going back nine years, you can go ahead with a 10 year cycle. Talking about the cycles, this is advice from our guide. And the advice from our guide, I swear to God, it's, I'm kind of back to that feeling of a hug. Look at this here. Imagine your guide is right there with you and they've got their hand on your shoulder. They're standing over you and they've got their hand on your shoulder and their head bowed with you, right there with you touching you and they're trying to tell you it's okay to take a minute but you're gonna get up and you're gonna finish this and you're gonna succeed hey nothing wrong with the nine of wands this is Sagittarius energy nine ninth house nine lives fire you know I gotta say I'm a strong Sag um, it's like um, you know, j just to get us down on one knee, I'm there, <laughs> I'm there. I mean, I'm lucky to get up on my knee and to throw a punch at this point. Um, but it that takes a lot. Um, and very much with spirit being the advice card. Uh, that's that thing, it's like their hands on my shoulder right now. And she's like, we got this, you got this. But it's like such uh, um, compassion, sympathy, understanding. This is our own higher self. It completely understands everything. It, it is focused upon our soul's growth, not our ego. But it, 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 there's no more greater compassion uh, for us um, than this deeper part of ourself. No? And it's just saying, like, it's okay. Take a minute. Take a minute because you're going to need your strength. We've got to push on through and finish this now. You know? There's a warrior energy here for me. There's a warrior energy here. There's 8 billion people on the planet. This is crazy times, good times, fantastic times. This is a, come on, I mean, whatever the fuck you believe in, you gotta feel it. Shit's coming. It's the next 20 years, amazing. The technology, we don't destroy ourselves. I mean, it's gonna be off the hook, guys. So yeah, it's time basically to get in the game. And let's see what this outcome is. The Four of Pentacles. I tell you, it's going to be a minute. This is the outcome. So this is kind of maybe hard for spiritual people with the Four of Pentacles. Um, but this is going to be a minute longer. we got to keep sitting, trying to sit in our Queen of Pentacles energy. I think for me, the Queen of Pentacles... Um, is not worrying about material things really not worrying and pinnacles you know is solid so like if if you know you want to manifest love you don't manifest love by sitting around going, i don't have love i'm so lonely that you know, we all know that never works right so how are you going to manifest wealth well you're not going to manifest wealth by sitting around going oh my god i don't have any money i think we're gonna be that doesn't work um but there's going to be a self-containment that's necessary um, <sighs> pinnacles definitely feels like four weeks that's not four days it's like there's a period of self containment where it's going to be necessary to uh, just keep husbanding our own energy um, it's this is not the time to throw out energy to the world you know, uh, I'm thinking about Mars. It's going into Scorpio in a couple days. And, um, you know, um, it's uh, plotting there. Not plotting. Yeah, it's Seven of Swords there. 
it's uh, strategic thinking. Um, so I think these next four weeks, it's going to be a really intense time. And um, we really got to be kind of about ourselves here and kind of uh, hold our energy in. Um, I feel like that we're preparing, you know, remember this, you know. Now, how's the Scorpio going to do this? Because Mars is action. Mars is wands. Um, and they're not going to do it um, overtly. They're going to do it covertly. So you're going to stay there on your knee for a minute longer. You're going to gather your strength. And then you're going to rise up because you're a warrior. And it's going to be the Ace of Wands. It's not here, but I'll just call it. That's what's going to happen. Um, but there is a period of time here yet. But God, it's close, man. This Hangman Reverse is huge. Uh, sign from, from my guy. See it exactly. Um, and the judgment for me is like, you know, you made a deal, right? <laughs> you know what the deal is. And I know. Okay. Amazing reading, guys. Uh, I know I saw Temperance strong on the bottom of the deck when I was uh, meditating, getting ready for this. And I left it there in front of me as my card. Um, and so that's what made me think about the spirit guides because, uh, you know, uh, all during this time, I think it's so important. Guides are all over us our queen of wands we're protected we're guided if you're watching this reading a uh, lot of protection a lot of guidance just all over you all the time completely um and love it thank you guys